Hey everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. So this week we are doing Iron Maiden week on the channel. Every day I'm checking out a couple of live performances from Iron Maiden. I've really enjoyed them. I'm a little bit embarrassed that I consider myself to be a rock fan. Sorry, I'm always wiggling around. That I love rock music, but I've never listened to Iron Maiden. By the time I got into listening to rock, I was like just solely on rock. It was my early 20s, I want to say. And before that, I just listened to, if I heard something I liked, I'd go out and buy the CD. And so it was kind of everywhere. But I never went and listened to Iron Maiden. The upside to that is that now I can do something like this, have an Iron Ma Maiden week on the channel. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm excited. This one is 22 Acacia Avenue, live Hammersmith, 1982. Anyway, here we go. This is the song which, uh, gentlemen over there, Rachel and Smith, who's at the moment suffering from a few sore ribs. Uh -oh. At the moment, he's all trussed up tonight like a chicken. From the older, Adrian Smith helped to write on the new album. It's a song all about a lady called Charlotte the Harlot. I just listened to that one. We discovered where she lived. Oh. And, uh, we discovered she's running a new knocking shop somewhere in the East End of London at, uh, a guy. If you care to visit it, it's, uh, it's a 22 Acacia Avenue! So this is a follow-up to Charlotte the Harlot. That's funny. I just finished, like, right before I hit record on this, I had just finished recording my reaction to Charlotte the Harlot. So that's good timing. It's, uh, it's a 22 Acacia Avenue! I'm pretty sure I had them listed that way intentionally because you all told me about that. That voice. Fifty quid. <laughs> you guys got the price. I didn't understand everything so long. <laughs> I have to stop. The lyrics, I don't know if I paused it or not. I don't remember. Also, I'm having a hot flash, so I'm going to take this blanket off my lap. Um, I can understand most of what he's saying, which is fantastic. I really like the sporadic style of the music. I mean, I know it's not completely sporadic. It's intentional. So sporadic may not be the right word, but sometimes when he's singing like this, things kind of drop out and then they go they jump back up and I like that it's creating this really cool this is I, I don't know energy isn't the right word it's just making it dynamic maybe maybe that's the right word that it's kind of doing this and the lyrics I have heard are making me giggle a little bit um, because I may be completely wrong but I feel like now it's somewhat about a prostitute that only costs fifty dollars but maybe sometimes free so make sure you go if you're ever on the east end of course i'm not catching them all but this is this is just so much fun to watch slash listen to but that doesn't mean the music is not fantastic because the music also is fantastic sorry i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> Charlotte. 
a regular beat. supposed to pause like I was waiting for a gap and I don't know if we're in the chorus or the verse I feel like we're in the next verse already and in the chorus especially I started trying to listen more to the music the the timing of his singing on the music seems difficult like I've sang I've played piano I've been in chorus and all that but the way the melody is in the music there's it's irregular like I feel like I need to stop saying like um, for example, the drums are doing something slightly different than the guitar. And I might be wrong on which is doing which, but it's almost like there are two overlapping melodies that make the timing seem not off, but something. And then the way he's singing over it seems really difficult to, like the way they just are on top of one another and where it feels like that rhythm is is really interesting maybe you know what I'm saying maybe you don't and then there was something else I was gonna say oh during the chorus and maybe the verse and one of the guitars is doing something that reminds me there's a children of Bodom song where it sounds like they're playing you know, like this waterfall sound style music. Something like that. But like it's backwards somehow. There's a Children of Bodom song where it sounds like the guitar is like going backwards down the steps with the guitar. In this song, I just heard the guitar doing something like that too. Obviously, this song was first. And I'm not even saying it was copied either way. It's just a really unique sound on the guitar and that I was I got quiet because I was zoning into the music and I noticed that and that's so cool I don't know how to play guitar so I don't know how difficult that is but it sounds really cool to the listener I'm gonna stop talking
<laughs> oh, the worst. That's so much energy. <laughs> before it goes into whatever it's going into I heard him say all the people in that love you don't cast them aside I didn't catch all of the words but he said something about you're coming with me and I don't think I've commented on it yet in this reaction but his voice is perfect with this music just like the you know when you get just the right icing on a delicious cake and it just is a perfect compliment to that cake. That is how his voice is to this music. <laughs> Vocalist would be so much fun. I like that vocalist would be so fun to hang out with. He has so much energy. He's just so lively. That was a fantastic song. Somebody's calling me. Probably my husband. Um, fantastic song. I love the energy. I really liked that I understood a lot of the lyrics. I don't always understand lyrics. I usually miss a lot on the first time through. And I don't want to be staring at lyrics while I read it. And I don't want to... I mean, while I watch it, and I don't want to read the lyrics first if I can help it, because then it's not, like, then I go in with an, some knowledge of the song, and I, I like the first first time hearing my first exposure. It just makes it a little bit more exciting, more of a surprise. You know, I didn't mean to smack my hands so loudly. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the song. Vocalist was excellent. The music was great, and I think I said pretty much all I could say. Uh, during the pauses. Anyway, thank you very much for the recommendation. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.